Small children have a habit of getting into places they aren't supposed to, picking up things they shouldn't, and trying to put things into their mouths that don't belong there. Most of the time, when a child swallows something they shouldn't, as long as it's fairly small, it passes through their system and doesn't cause any long-lasting damage. Button batteries are different. These small devices, also sometimes known as button cells, are used in lots of everyday electrical items, such as watches, remote controls, key fobs, night lights, toys, and novelty gifts. When they come into contact with saliva in the human body, a reaction takes place that releases caustic soda, the same chemical used to unblock drains, which burns through soft tissue. The effects of what happens when a button battery is swallowed can be seen by conducting a simple experiment. Put a button battery on top of a slice of meat and sprinkle on a few drops of water. After just half an hour, it will have burned away a large part of the meat and eventually it will burn all the way through. Now imagine that the meat is the soft tissue inside a child's throat and you will have some idea of how deadly button batteries can be. If a child swallows a button battery, every second counts. Any delay can result in damage to internal organs and in the most extreme cases, even death. There are some simple steps you can follow to help protect children from the risks posed by button batteries. Store spare batteries securely and out of children's reach. Don't leave them loose in drawers or just lying around. Be aware which items in your home use button batteries. If the battery compartment isn't secured by a screw, place the item out of reach of small children. If it's faulty, get it fixed or get rid of it safely. Teach older children why button batteries are dangerous and why they shouldn't give them to young children. Get rid of dead button batteries straight away. They can still have enough power to badly hurt a small child. When you remove one, store it securely and recycle it properly. If you suspect a small child might have swallowed a button battery, act quickly. The warning signs include coughing, gagging, sore tummy, drooling, being sick, blood in their poo or in their sick. They might appear to have an upset stomach or sore throat, seem tired or lacking energy and not want to eat food. If you suspect a child has swallowed a button battery, do not give them anything to eat or drink and do not try to make them be sick. You should immediately take the child to the nearest A&D department or call an ambulance. Tell medical staff what you suspect the problem is and if you have it, bring the battery's packaging to the hospital so they can decide on the best treatment. Above all, it is important to trust your instincts and act fast instead of waiting to see where the symptoms develop. Every second of delay can result in additional injury. For more advice on button batteries, go to www.capt.org.uk slash button batteries, www.rosper.com slash button batteries, www.buttonbatteriesafety.com.